is sponsored by the DOM Phone Finder. The DOM Phone Finder is a tool that allows you to filter through different features and find your perfect device. Make sure to check it out in the link below. How's it going everyone? Today we have Unplug Tag. This is actually a pre-production model. It's still not released in the market. It is a Kickstarter and I have been given early access to give you guys a sneak peek of how it works. I've covered Unplug in the past and I think it's a very good product that allows you to use your Android more mindfully. So first of all, you need to download the Unplug app and you will be able to have, of course, the settings in here. This is a paid app. It does have a free trial, but then you will need either to subscribe or to pay a one lifetime fee. So the subscription is $4.49 a month. The year is $44.99 and the lifetime is $134.99. I know that's a little bit steep, but I think it's worth it for the features that it has. It has, of course, the unlimited distracting apps, schedules, whitelist contacts, unlimited distraction barriers, and full mode when charged. I'll be going over what that means in just a second. In the past, they came up with the unplug key. You introduced this when you wanted to be connected and tethered to certain apps. And when you didn't want to, you just disconnected it. But now they have an NFC tag because this is a USB-C only, as you see here. But the tag works with NFC, so it has wider compatibility for other devices, hopefully iOS devices in the future. But essentially it works this way you set up your distracting apps. So let's go and see how that works. You go to schedules and then you enable it or disable it. You set up a certain time all day or whatever it is and you select which apps you want to block. But of course right now I'm not on full mode so I will need to tap right there. Now I'm able to edit my schedule and as you see you can put as many apps as you want in the schedule, the ones that are distracting to you. After you have saved it, uh, we're going to go back to right here to block apps. So if I try to open the Aurora store, for example, now it gives me this. Aurora store is blocked by schedule test. You can name it whatever it is. I just put test in there. And if you want to access, you need the unplugged tag. Now, this is not the only way it works. There are other ways that it works. This is just the one of the ways, but you can also do other distraction barriers like a random distraction barrier, like a scroll uh, distraction barrier, shake or tap buttons. I will showcase how each one of them works. So let's go to, uh, I need to set up full mode. Let's go to tap buttons. For example, you can set up the difficulty. Let's start with one right there. The more difficult you put it, the more buttons you will need to tap. So let's go now to block. So right here, Aurora store. Let's say we want to access it. Now it tells you, okay, you need to tap three times. The more the difficulty, of course, the more buttons. So it gives you a stop before you continue wasting time or doing things that may not be productive. I like the tag because it's an NFC enabled one. And of course, it's not based on software only. It is a hardware uh, part portion as well. I definitely enjoyed using their Unplug tag and I still keep this one. This one is legacy now. They have a different app called the Legacy Unplug Launcher. But now that the NFC one is coming, it's wider compatibility. So that is uh, always a welcome thing. You can create different schedules depending on the time. So if you want to block certain apps or if you know you need something for work, you'll be able to have it without any issues. So I'm really excited to, you know, like test this out. Now you see uh, there's different options set back to blocking apps after five minutes or hours or whatever it is if, if to one minute or when the phone locks, things of that nature. You can whitelist contacts. So you'll be able to say, hey, I want to always get notifications from this person. You also have reminders uh, after some minutes that you've accessed the distracting apps. Emergency mode. Uh, this is Again, you can only use it once per day, but let's say you have an emergency, you forgot your tag, you don't have it with you, then you will be able to access the app still if you have an emergency. You can change the barrier uh, to say, hey, I, I don't want to change the barrier so often from time to time. I want to only change it every five days. You are also able to get some of that. Advanced settings, you have missed notifications, you have block app uninstall, so you will not be able to uninstall uh, while you're in focus mode, you will not be able to uninstall any kind of apps or uh, including the Unplug app. 
And also you can block your Android settings and focus mode. This one works very reliably. This one is hit or miss right now, as you see, is still in beta. You also have a weekly mindful reminder. And of course you can do referrals. You can share a custom link. I will put this link in the description below so that you can access it and you can try it out for, I believe it's 14 days or maybe a month. Uh, you get one month if you try it out. Uh, just to see if you like it. And of course, you can subscribe through uh, the Google Play. They gave me a free license for uh, for a year. Uh, and of course, uh, this video is not sponsored, but they did allow me to showcase this to you in early access. You can go to the Kickstarter. Also, make sure to put that in the description below. And also the first pinned comment. So make sure to look at it there. You have your account. Uh, send feedback, a tutorial, privacy policy, and about the company. I think this is actually very good. It shows you kind of like how you use your phone throughout the day. This only runs on Android at the moment, but I think the NFC capability will be able to allow it. So let's go back to create the unplug tag. Uh, one, two, three. And as you see, it's a little bit delayed of how everything works. So you'll be able to use the unplug tag only. So let's go, oh, I think I didn't, I didn't set it to, let's see, block apps. So with your schedule, it will block the app. And if you have an emergency, you can access it there. You can go to home screen, but essentially it reminds you to not use your phone as much. It's, I think it's a good alternative. It doesn't take over your screen. The previous one, the legacy one uh, used to take over your screen. I can, maybe I can showcase it here. So it has unplug. And as you see right there, it has another one outdated, the unplug launcher. This one only worked with the key, but this new one works with the tag and software, uh, other software availability. Uh, so there you have it, the unplug, reduce your time. We're going to be having a live stream coming up next week with the founders of unplug. You will see it scheduled. So if you have any questions or anything about the whole process, make sure to join us. I believe next Tuesday or so, I believe it's the seventh or the eighth. I'll make sure to put it in the channel. And if you have any questions, make sure to put it in here so that you get around. Now, one more thing that I'd like to mention before I go is the next video is going to be about this phone right here. It's a tank. It's actually called a Vola or Fola. If it's a German company, I guess you pronounce it Fola Phone X. Uh, they have a very interesting platform that I will be talking about in the future. So stay tuned for that. Uh, they have a Kickstarter as well. I believe it's done now for the Fola Phone 22. And I'll be explaining a little bit, a couple of extra things. As you see, I have a different operating system in here. So I'll be talking about that in the near future. So make sure to check, check the channel for that and subscribe for it. So thanks for watching today. I'm excited about the future of Unplug and everything that is coming. And if you have any questions, just put it in the comments. I'll see you in the next video.